Here's the bedroom, just very minimal. Summer day is just sitting around. thing I have to do after I get home from the workout. Good morning guys, welcome back to a new vlog. I am vlogging another summer vlog, little day in my life, maybe a couple days in my life. My name is Kathy, I am a third year fifth grade teacher, also a mom to two babies and I'm being quiet because I'm outside and your neighbors in California are very close to you so. But anyways, welcome back to a new vlog you guys. It's gonna be a little summer day in my life. Summer has been feeling a little different. I don't know if it's just me today, but I've had a hard couple of days just with like some family stuff and then also we took the binky away from Indy and then Ollie also is now sharing a room with Indy. I don't know, it just feels different and I don't know, I feel like a little bit of a pit in my stomach. Um, but other than that, I feel like it's been a good summer so far. I don't know, I've just been feeling a little off today. And even on off days, I still wanna vlog and show you guys that this is real life and not every day is rainbows and butterflies. So today is Wednesday. We have Madison's wedding coming up this weekend and I'm very excited to go back home. And we're only flying out for like a day and a half just to go to her wedding, but we're also gonna meet up with Brandon's parents and hang out with them for um, before we leave back home to San Diego. It's gonna be so fun. I can't wait to celebrate her and Kyle. Um, I know she's been looking forward to this day and weddings are just so, so much fun. And I know she's gonna make it amazing, exciting, and I can't wait to see all of her little details that she's put together. Today's gonna be gym, um, finding a dress possibly, and just hanging out. My brother's in town now. If you watched my last vlog, then you went to Goodwill with me and I got this macrame thing. I know it looks like really empty in here and I just realized that I have it off-centered, whatever. Sorry if that bothers you, but this is what the room looks like. I haven't made the bed yet. Love the rug. I feel like it adds such a good pop of color. Um, but here's the bedroom. Just very minimal, simple, little pops of pink, little pops of brown, wood. I want to take you guys with me as I prep for this week. Got my nails done already, like last week. These are more of like my 4th of July nails. I love the electric blue. I think it's such a fun pop of color for the summer. Anyways, like I was saying earlier, um, the girls share a room now. Ollie just started sleeping through the night this week and I miss her so much being bedside. I knew it was like the right time to move her. She needed to be in a bigger crib, like a bigger space. She was in her bassinet and it was just getting too small. The very first night this week, whenever we finally put her in uh, Indy's room, it was great. Like Ollie was crying, Indy would sleep through that. Indy was crying, Ollie would sleep through her crying. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more stressful, but it's actually been great. And I think because they go to daycare together, they're used to each other crying and just noises. So they're adjusting a lot better than I thought they would. But the only thing that has been a little bit stressful is we did take Indy's binky away, kind of cold turkey. Um, so she like screams bloody murder every night um, but what we do is we just offer her comfort so we'll go in lay down on the floor try to get her to lay down um, usually by the time we go in which is like 10 minutes we'll go lay down on the floor and then she will lay down as well because she's getting tired um, but yeah that has been just crazy like if you know what I'm talking about it's just like screaming and crying someone in my last video asked about sleep training message me if that's you I don't really want to go in depth on this video just because I feel like not everyone wants to hear about sleep training but we did try the Ferber method we've always done the Ferber method where we do it in intervals and like provide comfort things like that if you don't know what I'm talking about just look up Ferber method that's what we've done with Indy and then like I said before Ollie's such a good sleeper that she didn't really need the Ferber method. She kind of just did it on her own just because she just loves sleeping and she does so well with it that I didn't really need to sleep train her. I love this little back door, you guys. It makes me feel so cozy. At this house, we actually don't have any air. Um, it's just like our fans and then we open up the windows. It's crazy how in California or in San Diego at least, you can go 10 minutes north or 10 minutes south and it can be... 10 degrees hotter or 10 degrees less like here it's a lot cooler where we live but 
where we lived previously it was a lot hotter so we had to use like the ac that they had in the house but here we just have our windows open we have the fans going and it feels really good it's crazy how much it varies um let me know if you're also from san diego or even california if you experience that too because i've never i never knew that was a thing <laughs> Summer day is just sitting around, but when the sun goes down, that's what I want to listen to on my way to the gym. The sun is already making me feel 10 times better. Before the gym, I had this huge pit in my stomach, just like feeling anxious. Can't pinpoint why I was anxious. I think it's just a collection of things. No longer feeling like that. I feel like I just needed to push myself to go to the gym, which I did. So thank goodness. I worked out a little bit longer than I usually do. I usually keep it like 40 to 45 minutes. That was a 54 minute workout just because I am trying to get back into my gym era. Before pregnancy, before kids, I worked out um, often and I lifted heavy-ish i mean i try to lift heavy i find that it gets my heart rate up and i feel strong um and my energy is really good whenever i lift weights so i'm trying to get back into that since i have the summer whatever it is that makes you feel better do it you won't regret it let's go to the mall something i have to do after i get home from a workout is roll my back out because as a mom and just getting back into the gym, I feel like I always am straining my back, like breastfeeding or just picking up the girls, especially when I have two under two, I'm just using a lot of like upper body. And so I've been rolling out my back with these Fit Beast rollers. I love this ritual that I have. I feel like it's a game changer, especially if you have kids or if you are working out like I am now. Um, so this is the one I like the most. This is like the medium size right here. And then I also have some of the bigger ones and a smaller roller if I want more tension on my back. But this one is perfect for me and Brandon is obsessed with rolling out his back too. So he just loves the way it feels. But because I am a mom, I just love using this because it really does help stretch out my back and just get the tension off of there. If you like deep tissue massages, I feel like this is very similar to one, um, but you can do it at home. So let me just show you guys on here like how I roll my back out, which one I like the best. Um, you can see in these clips right here that there's more of like a loose pressure, which I really like personally. There's also some that have like a tougher pressure. The bigger one has more options. As you guys can see, this one has softer side, which I prefer. This is the gentle pressure. This part right here is more of a hard pressure, which Brandon really likes because he likes like a deep tissue kind of massage. Um, and then Indy actually loves using this one, even though she can't do anything with it. This is more like a deep tissue because it's so small. And so it really like gets into your muscle and just provides more tension. I love these and prefer these over like the typical roll just because this is ergonomically just more comfortable for me to use as a family we collectively love these rollers especially from fit beast they're amazing high quality keep them right here because i need them to be easily accessible so yeah if you guys want to check out fit beast rollers there's going to be a link down in my description box if you guys want to try out fit beast rollers i do have a discount code and it's really nice because they are sold on amazon so you can get them in two days it's kathy 15 for 15 percent off which is a really nice deal for how high quality these are anyways i did go over to the mall after the gym and i searched high and low for so long for a dress to wear to madison's wedding like i said before i don't need a new dress but i really want one just because I don't have a lot I did find one um, let me know if you guys want to see uh, the weekend vlog like a weekend vlog of us traveling and going back down to Missouri for Madison's wedding I found this dress from Urban Outfitters <sighs> typically I don't like to spend a lot of money on clothes but recently I have been more into buying high quality items to keep longer like usually I'll just go to Forever 21 or like I'll go to Plato's closet and just buy like a cheaper dress but then I end up just throwing it out and never wearing it again so I have decided to listen to all of my friends 
when they say buy high quality thing. It looks really pretty on. I'll insert a picture actually of what it looks like on. And then lastly, I did go to Abercrombie. I got some of their linen pants. Um, I love their linen pants. It's like a wide leg thing. I can wear this in the summer. I can also wear it for teaching and it was $35, which is a steal. Lastly, their body suits were on sale. So I just got a tank top version since I have one of the short sleeves that I really like that I wear all the time. Black, like V cut and very, very thick quality. So these are on sale right now. My brother who was in town, like I said, he always makes food. So let's see what he prepared today. I'm starving because I went to the gym, but he baked some of, he baked this salmon, which looks really good. And if you guys are Vietnamese or if you know this, this is Nick Mum. It's basically like fish sauce, garlic, chili peppers, lime, and it's a very nostalgic sauce that you just pour over your rice. So I'm gonna eat salmon, some rice. Thanks, so mate. Always feeding the hungry. Big old piece of salmon for the protein. Rice, very simple, but this stuff is so tasty. Can you put it in there? Can you push it down? Oh, what this little one talking about? My brother got Ollie this shirt from Etsy and Nini has the big sister shirt, but this one just says little sister. I forgot to say that Indy has been talking so much, like she can say a few different things, like where to go or I'm sorry, oh. just things like that, which I feel is so cool because I've been waiting for so long for her like to hear her talk and it's just awesome that she's growing up and talking and putting words together Indy is 19 months now like overnight she'll stay up for like 30 minutes to an hour sometimes and just talk to herself which I think is normal she's trying to like make she's trying to process like the words and just put it together fatherhood is definitely hard um, she gets I mean, into everything true. and she's fussy a lot so she's definitely been occupying a lot of my time It's not like that messy, but she just takes everything apart. Where did what go? The batteries? Oh, there it is. I thought it was on the couch. Dinner, frozen pizza, watermelon, water. <laughs> Boom, boom, boom. Nice. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, do you want to have a dance party? You want to have a dance party? Hey, Google, play You Can't Touch This. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, get ready. Hey, Google, 69%. Our nightly ritual is to have a dance party, so, so she's doing silent disco. Just put the girls down. It is 7.20 right now. Brandon actually, since we took the binky away, he lays in there with her for a few minutes. Um, he hasn't left the room yet, so we'll see if, we, if he leaves, if she'll cry. Yeah. So, I don't know. I would love a night where she's not crying, but it hasn't happened yet. you're reading? Um, it's supposed to be reading anesthesia stuff. Basics of anesthesia. Anybody who knows anesthesia, this is what's called Baby Miller and it's like foundation 
foundation of the anesthesia. Who knows about anesthesia? Put it in the comments. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog off here, you guys. We've got a crying baby and we wanna relax now. So, anyways, Holly's if you- Holly's just staring at her, by the way. <laughs> Holly's probably asleep by now. She's I just, like, whenever I left, she was literally just staring at her eyes. It's like white noise though. Oh, hey, Judy. Anyways, um, we're gonna go ahead and end the vlog off here. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.